Hey, Spyro. All dragons know there's magic in a fairy's kiss. See what it can do to your power of flame. Hmm. Yes. Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 7 of our Spyro the Dragon Reignited playthrough. Today we're doing Lofty Castle. Let's dive into it. We're in my favorite world of the game, which we might be able to finish it all in this one. And then we'll be able to beat the game in the next episode because the next few levels are... There's only... In the next world, there's only two levels, the boss and then the end game if you've collected everything. So, honestly, not that much left to do in the game. Spiral's never really been that long of a game, but in the next game, it might take a little bit longer for us to actually, you know, beat a level, so it might be like one level per episode at that point, even though this game technically has more levels. I believe those are called Puff Birds, at least I think in the achievement that's what they were called. Oh yeah, I guess we have 400 gems and 3 dragons, and we do have Destroy Hidden Stump, which is annoying, but... It's something. Remember those enemies that I said uh, from A Hero's Tale were like from Spiral 1? That's what I meant. I meant those guys. Are you serious? Game, why did you do that to me? They're just like, nah, we're gonna throw that uh, gem down there. That's the thing I hate about enemies that float above surfaces or above certain surfaces is that the, the gems will fall and then you'll have to go back and collect them. Also, there's only 400. This level's actually not as big as I remember it. It's actually a pretty long level, but you just find a lot of smaller gems throughout the level. The gimmick of this level, too, is you have to free these fairies from these little crates, which I'm surprised they can't get out considering they're magical. But you have to free them to then activate certain parts of the level for you. But they'll just activate whirlwinds and stuff, so like these ones will go right here, and then they'll activate this whirlwind. Which then gets us to the first of the three dragons. But before I do that, I want to kind of clear out the area. Like I said, it makes it way better if you can clear out all the enemies. Because then they won't respawn when you die. That way it makes it easier to 100% everything. But we have Mudata. Fairies are always on your side, Spyro. In the uh, Switch version, that doll is like a, it's nightmare fuel because of just how bad it like looks. Also, this is kind of lame, but look, it's a red one. Who wants a red one? Like that's worth one gem. All that work for one gem? Man, first world problems, am I right? Like, sheesh. Die, mushroom men. You're kind of in my way. I'm looking for the last fairy. Oh, hello, Demon Cupid. Yeah, and the fairies here, they just bring you back to where you need to go. We do need to go down here for gems. There's a chest down here. We don't have a key yet, so we can't technically do anything with that. But then, once we get to this point in the level, it branches off. So you can either go to the right and do that stuff, or you can go to the left and do that stuff. I kind of just want to kill these guys first before we go and deal with these, because I believe these ones don't lead us to the end of the level. Also, I swear those cupids used to like be way more inclined to attack you. There is a dragon over here, though, so that's pretty cool. So, let's just grab this random fairy that's sitting here. Do not feed. I kind of want to actually see what they look like. Aw, they're actually shaking. They actually look, they look terrified. That's actually a cool little touch that they did. Um, and I feel kind of sorry for them. I kind of just send them plummeting to their death. Oh, wait, that's what that one was for? Really? Weird. He didn't need a whirlwind to get up there, but okay. Sometimes games are just too nice with like how they'll give you like shortcuts and things. Also, I did finally find those missing gems back in... Um, Enter the Dragonfly. I did that last night while I was just killing time while t doing some editing to my channel. Anyways, we have Burati. 
or Baruti. Thank you for releasing me. You're welcome. There's only 80 dragons in this game, and we're already at 63, so what's that say? Oh, we actually made it to the castle part. Well, oh, one of these levels, I think, has five dragons. I think it's Dark Passage that has five. Like, it's crazy how many dragons are in that level. Oh, never mind. This did lead us to the end of the level. Now, to get to the stump, I believe the stump is actually over here. And then you need to glide over here. And then around here. Oh yeah, you need to charge it, so be careful. And there we go, there's the skill point. So I guess we can go this way now, to the left, because apparently that way over there was to the end of the level, so might as well go this way. Now, instead of going into the castle, or I guess the castle tower, go up here. That's a life and some gems. Uh, I don't want to grab that whirlwind just yet. Oh, I don't even need to go up there to grab that. Oh, balloon enemies, cool. I kind of want to collect all these goodies down here first. How many gems were here? 400, and we're already over the halfway mark. And we haven't even gotten to one of the gimmicks here yet, which I believe is what the last dragon tells us. Which is also a gimmick of the Haunted Towers, which is a level that I'm kind of not ready to enjoy, because it's such a pain in the butt. But anyway, here we go. Here's the whirlwind. We just got to wait for our little fairy friends here to come. And there's the last dragon already. Oh, and a key. Yuseni. Ah, Spyro. Thanks. Supercharge will get you to new places here in Lofty Castle, too. See where it takes you. Man, I really like the design of that dragon. Like, holy cow. Good job on his design team. Like, good job. Like, I like the electrical effects on his horns. Yeah, and that's all supercharged as far as this little section right here. Nothing more, nothing less, just this. I gotta say, it's kind of weird. Oh yeah, and then the chest was down here. Which I think is like a bunch of red and green gems, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, never mind. And, that's almost all the gems already. I just realized, too, that the fairies don't actually stay. The fairies just kind of disappear. So now we got to go back to the right. Oh, good thing I came back, because there were gems there. You guys are probably screaming at me that there were gems, and I just completely missed them. Yeah, I don't blame you guys. If you guys were yelling, you're screaming, like, there's gems there, you're going to miss them. Look out. Whoa. I almost died, because I was an idiot. Again, these guys will actually knock you back with their shield, by the way, if you get too close once they lower down to your height. Oh yeah, the achievement here, remember those four birds that were kind of like on a pathway together up to the other part of the castle? Yeah, that was that's what the achievement was here. You have to charge all five, or all four of them in a row. Or is it five of them? It could be five of them, I don't remember. It's funny how like, this last little section doesn't have a lot going on for it. Like, look at that. There's a big chunk of the missing gems just right here. And then we can take this. There's only 15 missing gems, and I'm pretty sure they're all up here. So it's a pretty lengthy level. But not at the... Like, as the way you think. It's not like a big level, but anyways, there's another 100%. There we go. Another 400 gems bring us to 9,000. Like I said, we should get to 10,000. And then the next world is kind of weird because you can't technically complete a level for the very first time. I guess the next closest level is Dark Passage. My favorite level. Also, the biggest level in the entire game. I think maybe in the entire Spyro franchise. Not necessarily the longest to complete, but the biggest level. Because remember, Spyro 2 and 3 have like sections that are kind of weird where there's like mini games and stuff. This game, no, it's just follow big levels. It's the one thing I don't like about Spyro 3. The levels are really small, but they have a bunch of mini-games, which are fine, but kind of ruin the game. Alright. 500 gems, 5 dragons. 
and Haunted Towers is the whole, uh, next one that we have to do. So the gimmick here is these guys. Okay, well, so when he's lit up, he'll turn the enemy small, which makes it so you can actually kill the turtles, and so the big dogs won't eat you, but they will still bite you. But it didn't let us hit him. See, these are what the dogs normally look like. Evil little demon chihuahuas. And the turtles will always shoot fireballs at you. So be careful. They don't really get any more difficult. They just You just can't kill them when they're big. Also, the music here is pretty cool. It does sound kind of like a remake of the, the Homeworlds music, though. Like, not gonna lie. Also, why aren't you eating these butterflies already, man? Come on. I'm pretty sure this dragon just tells you about the fools, right? We have Garcia. The enemies here can be quite frightening, but you should watch the fools. I'd rather flame the fools. Now you're thinking. Do you know, I think he's supposed to be based off of the um, the caterpillar from Alice in Wonderland. I think that's why he's so oddly creepy. God, those things are terrifying. Me? All right, what do we got going on over here? Just some pathetic enemies, dare trying to stop Spyro. Oh, I thought that was a gem over there. It was just the speckles on the floor. Well, even when you're big, Mr. Doggos, you guys just can't stop me. And I guess we can go grab our second dragon already and see a third dragon up there. Azizi. Thank you for releasing me. Cool design on a dragon that only says one thing. Maybe they do that because they don't have to animate them as much. That, that could be the whole gimmick, right? Hello over there, Mr. Turtle. Oh, they have homing fireballs. Whoa. Okay, that's towards the end of the level. We're, we're not even done this level yet. That's kind of weird, eh? But that's because I'm pretty sure... Which pathway is it? This one? Yeah, okay, we can jump down here. And we can take this pathway, which leads us that way. But first, let's check out this one. Oh, yeah, no, there's nothing that way. So, we'll continue on this way. Doggos. Wow, those are some small gems considering there's 500 gems in this level game. Oh, well, more turtles, I guess. Those guys are always cool to deal with, right? I wonder if this is going to give me a ton of gems. Nope, literally just one blue gem. It's funny how they decide that, like, which firework baskets will give you, like... I'm pretty sure this is the achievement here, I think. I don't know. Oh yeah, this one you actually have to go around. Ooh, that should have hit me, but it didn't, luckily. Yeah, we're about halfway done the gems, though. One more gem and we're done, or halfway done. Oh, we're more than halfway done now. Ooh, that one actually dropped a lot of, oh, small gems, that is. I gonna say, that one actually dropped a lot of gems, but no. Sheesh, you guys are ripping me off in the money department, that's for sure. All these small amounts of gems, that's not very nice. Goodbye. Uh, anyways, we'll grab this dragon. A pair of shoes. Thanks, Spyro. I'd love to help you catch Nasty, but I'd really hate to be trapped in Crystal again. Don't worry, the only one that's gonna be trapped is him. Alright, yeah, trapping the Nork the Nasty. I wonder what his real name is, though. Like, is it actually Nasty Norg, or does he actually have a normal name, and that's just what they nickname him because they're rude to him? I love like there's that random little safety net zone there, but that doesn't really have anything of importance. Oh. Lots of doggos here, that's for certain. And another dragon already. And we know where the last one is. This is Obasi. Thank you for releasing me. He's kind of a derpy looking dude, don't you think? Alright, over here. 
Also, I've noticed a lack of fools in this area of the level. You notice that? How you just have to kill these enemies when they're small, not making them much of a threat? It's also technically the first level of this world, by the way, even though it's technically the biggest level in the game. Uh, we've only been recording for about 15 minutes now. Well, almost 15 minutes, so we should be able to technically finish this entire world in this episode. And there's the firework that we needed to break open that chest over there. Thanks for all the cash and money. Alright, more money! And there we go, that's all 500 gems! And the last dragon is literally right over here. Super easy level. Bakari. You know, I think you just might be the dragon to defeat Nasty Nook. That's me, alright. I love his sheep slippers, those are adorable. And level complete, let's go. Only got one more level in the boss here. I think we'll have enough time. 9,500 gems. Let's have a drink. Ooh, actually, I think we'll have more than 10,000. I, I do not appreciate that game. Now we have to go to Haunted Towers. Or I guess, technically, we can go fight Jock, since... Mm, no, let's not go fight Jock yet. Since he's literally right before the next world, um, it would make way more sense to go this way first. Because we have to backtrack if we go this way. And it would just be even longer of an episode. So, we'll go to Haunted Towers. In my opinion, the worst level in this world, but it's not a bad level. Ow, I keep hitting the table next to me. Well, I gotta stretch. I haven't recorded this much in a while. Yet, it's only... What time is it? It's only 11.54 and I've recorded, like... This is the fourth episode of this and each episode is like 24 minutes or more. So, that's not bad. Been loving recording lately. I've been enjoying making the thumbnails look way better and everything. It's just super clean. Ah, oh, metal armor. We have 500 gems, 3 dragons, and we do have one where we have to get the wizard hat. Which, by the way, is not easy. It's not hard, per se, it's just annoying. Also, these wizards are back. Oh yeah, they make the armor come to life, which is annoying. And we got these narcs with grenades. But they can also be flamed, despite having a shield, because... Ow. For whatever reason, they're made out of wood. So what you need here is you need the fairy's smoosh, and then you can go and torch these guys. Because apparently they're kind of like the spiders from High Caves, where if you torch them with the fairy breath, they'll die. Now I still need to go over there, so don't worry. Wait. That acted like I had the fairy breath still there for a second. That was interesting. Or maybe it was just a regular basket and I just didn't notice it. We do need the fairy breath again though. I think there's three... Or no, I think there's four fairies in this level that actually give it to you. Not like High Caves where it's literally the, only the one. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that technically the, the breath while like this, you can also technically break... Um, you can technically break metal chests and stuff with it. Also, I thought I had flamed a mushroom already. I might have, he's just not eating the butterflies for whatever reason. Alright, well, let's go over here. Hey, it's our first dragon. Before we do that... Let's just murder a bunch of these fools. Also, this fairy isn't guarded by an enemy this time. Also, she has like one gem basket there, which is kind of weird. Also, weird to have the life here and then the gems over here, but sure. I'll take it though. So, let's get another kiss from a fairy. Right on this sewer grate, but, you know, that's, that's cool. Definitely want to smell somebody else's farts while getting kissed by a fairy. Very romantic. And boom! Yeah, there's no firework for this one. You actually do need the breath. 
And like I said, I like to clear out as much as humanly possible before grabbing the dragon, so... Did not want to go up there, though. That is not what I wanted to do. Now we'll grab this dragon. The first dragon here, and their name is Kasoko. Hey, Spyro. All dragons know there's magic in a fairy's kiss. See what it can do to your power of flame. Hmm. Yes. My power of flame. Something that, you know, I definitely already didn't do for the entire level. Oh yes, the supercharge, because supercharge is always needed in these levels, right? Oh. Kinda don't want to die to that guy. I hear... Yeah, I heard you, don't worry. Oh, okay, random dragon. Uh, random armor dude. So I kind of need this... Where's the fairy? Oh, she's right there. Duh. I kind of need you to go deal with some knights, thank you. Or I guess they're just haunted armor. That's always a cool gimmick too, by the way. We'll do that. Kill you, and then flame all of this. Oh yeah, that's music to my ears. Um, before we do anything, let's grab this dragon, because this next part can be a little risque. We have Lutalo. Hold your horns! Here comes Spyro! Patience, little one. You'll soon have the opportunity to battle the one who matters most. Nasty Nork. Oh yeah, man. You can also be a thumbnail. Man, he's just glorious. Okay, so we need either the supercharge for that, or we need the breath. I recommend the breath. So let's go grab the breath. There is an annoying supercharge section. And it is not fun. I don't know why they designed it like that. Oh, I also forgot about the blue wizard hat. I have to go back for that. That's a lot of gems. Holy cow. Now, before we do anything else, see... I, the last dragon is actually... Not where you think it would be. It's not at the end of the level like most of them are. No, this is technically the last dragon you'll see on the normal pathway. So, I'll we'll torch you. And you guys. Oh, yeah, I always forget that technically. There we go. See, yeah, there's the end of the level. And no, um, dragon. God, those knights are so loud. They're just so angry all the time. And we have another fairy smooch here. Thank you, madame. Oh my god, can that one stop it? It's the same one both times, too. This is crazy. Now, we might as well go and grab that um, blue wizard hat while we're... Uh, while I remember it, at least. Before I'm an idiot and just completely forget that it's a thing. Yeah, the blue wizard hat is way over there. So, remember to jump at the top... Oh, glide at the top of your jump. Yeah, like I said, this is going to be annoying. Because it's not very easy. I don't know why I decided to get all the skill points in this game. There's one game that I don't know if I'm going to be able to get all the skill points, and that's Spyro 3. Simply because of how weird one of them is in this game. And there we go. And that'll be the skill point. And you get partially blinded for a second. There, now we do need the supercharge to get to the end of the level. Or, you know, to get to the last section of the level. So we'll take this. We need to go to that outside area that we had seen. So this one. We need to go over here. And go over here. That actually worked out flawlessly this time. Normally it doesn't work out that smooth. There we go. And our last dragon here, which I recommend you get before doing anything, is Capano. You've become a master of the supercharge. Great work. You and your coffee there, buddy. I think you need to lay off it for a second. 
Now, why is it you gotta... Why I recommend you do anything is because you actually have to make it past all these guys before he causes them all to resurrect. Otherwise, you'll get stuck. Now, the cool thing about this fairy is... Is this fairy gives you infinite breath. It's not time. So guess what you can do? You can use this to go and then kill all these guys and get that chest back where that one dragon was. Oh no, you guys are all dying. It'd be a shame if I missed one and get smushed by him. That's, that's for sure. Yeah, it also breaks those and you automatically get the gem too, which is kind of interesting how that works. And you can fall down there if you need a shortcut, but we don't need the shortcut, so yeah. And lots of gems. And there we go, that's all 500 gems. Now we can go take on the final, like, boss before the end game boss. Which is nice. What the heck am I listening to? Hang on a second. Oh, I think my, uh, I think they're using a mixer downstairs. I, I won't pick it up in the video, because for whatever reason, the only sound effects that I ever pick up are the occasional dogs barking outside when I have my window open during the summer, because it's summertime and it's hot and stuff, you know. And then, um, my brother, when he stops by, he's really, really loud. For whatever reason, it gets picked up on my microphone. But only that. Like, my other brother, you, you won't hear him on any of my videos, but it, it's just weird, you know? Alright, so, we have the last level of this world, Jacquet. Let's go. The final level of the game, serving it up Gary's way. Okay, it's not the final level, but it might as well be, because that's how good we are. Alright. Oh, he's gonna do- oh, I thought he was gonna do a really high-dived one. So yeah, remember I said that there's only one boss level with more than one dragon? Two dragons, 500 gems, and we have to get perfect on the boss fight as the bird. Second last skill point in the game. It also brings back fools. Yay, more fools. I forgot what these guys are called. I think they're nightmares. There's like- those are armored nightmares. There's the pansy nightmares, which are those ones. I don't know how Nasty Nork created Nightmares. He's actually going to be pretty cool. Or, like, pretty strong to create things like that. Well, more of these small jumpy platform... Or, jumpy platform, jumpy chest ones. They give you, like, no gems whatsoever. Now, I believe... Okay, first things first, let's get you. Because... I do want to make sure I clear out everything here before I do it. So what we need to do is we need to go and flame this guy over here. And then we need to go and get this one. Because then that, the first guy that we flamed opens up this platform, which gets us to the second dragon that doesn't really do anything here. He doesn't actually have any tips or tricks or anything like that. He's just kind of here because he's a secondary dragon. And we have Unica. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Take care. Aw, oh, man, he looks so cool. And I forgot those gems over there. Luckily, I have to backtrack that way, so it's not really a, that big of a deal. Oh, this part. This is where the achievement is, by the way. If you want the achievement, you actually have to kill all, all these enemies right here in one single glide. Like that. And that's how you get the achievement. Also, there's some really cool-looking lava here. I gotta lie, it's kind of pretty. Flame you, it should open up a pathway out of this lava. Not at all weird and should be hot, but you know. I don't know how there's so much grass here considering we're near really hot stuff, but. Sure, I guess. That's cool. There we go, that's a bunch of gems. Ooh, this is gonna be a long episode. I apologize if you guys do not like long episodes, but. Okay, that whirlwind just didn't work. I'm gonna make this episode even longer, aren't you, game? Thank you. Oh, 
Oh, wait. I actually have to go around the other way. Never mind. Alright, you're supposed to land on that little platform with the gems and then get over there. I was trying to cheese it, but whatever. Wait, how do I actually get those? Wait a second. I think we actually do have to go back this way, though. Yeah, we do have to go back this way. It's just very precise. Aha, I made it. Wait. Did I just clearly ignore those gems over here again? Why do I keep doing that? I don't know why I keep doing that, but I do. Oh, I'm not gonna... Oh, I almost did not make that. Pretty sure the key that we'll need later on is in here. Pretty sure that's why we're here. Yes, it is. Well, plus 20 gems, which is nothing to... I was waiting for him to attack me, and then he never did until... You guys are... You guys are blind. Like, holy jeez, man. Dead. Nice. I love how these things have, like, a purple hue underneath where, like, they open up. Or where they float, not open up. I was thinking open up because of this chest. That was a nice purple gem. You don't see a lot of purple gems, honestly. Especially in Spyro um, 2, because those levels, every level has the exact same amount of gems. Spyro 1 and 3 actually change the amount of gems in every level. Well, Spyro 3 is a weird one, because it progressively goes up. So first world of, like, I think it's... I think it was four, five, six, seven hundred per level. And then the gems just naturally get bigger in each level. But in this game, this one actually just has a random amount for every level. And there's the boss, Jacques. So let's get Revelo, the final dragon here. Any advice before this battle? Advice? Hmm. A wise dragon once told me aim high in life, but watch out for flying boxes. Uh, huh? That's actually what he does, because he'll throw boxes at you. Like that. And the closer you get to him, the more he'll just run away from you. And then you get to these little platforms and you have to flame him, but unlike other bosses, he doesn't actually drop gems when he takes damage. Because I don't think you're really hurting him, you're kind of just forcing him backwards. And this is this entire boss fight, it's just really weird. Alright, and then we only need to hit him once more, and then we're done. There we go, skill point. Boom. Thank you for all those purple gems, and then the rest of them should be right here. There we go, level complete. Right on. So let's leave. That's another 500 gems to the total. I love how it's still counting up. <laughs> 10,500 gems. J gems j -j 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 gems We might as well go to the last world in this episode since it's already a long episode. Ah, sliding across the floor again. And there we go. Off on a whirlwind adventure. Alright. I know a lot of YouTubers have been getting back into like 40 plus minute videos because you get so much more done. Like even Mind Pulp that I watched, they used to have like 10 minute episodes, now have like um like 25 minute episodes like around that point in time so that's pretty cool now we made it to the Nork Nexus which have a bunch of dragon heads for whatever reason now there's 200 gems and two dragons Beetle lift? no I don't want to talk to you I really wish I would just ask you to press Y because I'm trying to collect the gems now funny thing is you cannot actually complete everything here We've literally grabbed all the gems we can, and this is the only dragon we can get. So we have Delvin. Hey, didn't I already free you? You're in Nasty's world now, Spyro. And you are the dragon that must defeat him. Bring him on. I'm ready. Reach the exit in each of Nasty's lands. Then you can challenge the Nork himself. All right. And that's... Remember when I said to take the end portals? Yeah. So anyways, in the next episode, we'll probably be finishing the game by starting with Nork Cove. Remember to leave a like, comment, dis um, leave a... Hit the bell for notifications, join the Discord and Patreon link below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye, and have a wonderful day.